All right, man, oh man, what a wonderful day to be alive, right, Rag? Yeah. So we're here with Alex at the PXG store in Kansas City. So this is a preview to a video that we're gonna do eventually. Mm -hmm. But right now, Riker, I bought him. He's trying to get in the game even more, and I love it because it's been a good experience for us on the golf course, father-son sharing this wonderful game. So I bought him these Cobra clubs, and they're still a little bit long for him right now, but we're gonna do just a little comparison with his driver and a PXG driver with, and I'm gonna let mm. Alex speak on this, and then also Alex, what we're gonna do later in a full, in a bigger video for junior fitting. Yes, yeah, so what we have right here is a ladies flex three wood shaft, something a little bit shorter for you, because you're also in the prime years of growing right now too. So He's what, 12 by the way. 12, right? He's almost taller than me. But <laughs> <laughs> what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, same thing, I'm gonna have him hit some with his driver and then we'll, we'll compare with our, uh, with our black ops. And one fun thing that we're gonna do, how Steve mentioned leading up to it, we're gonna get some kid shafts in here and we're gonna get him fitted up, isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. You excited? Yes. All right, what's your favorite part about this game? Having fun. Having fun. You go back and look at some Instagram video, he went, he was about this far from a hole in one with a seven iron from 100 yards recently, about two weeks ago. So that was pretty exciting for us to share. That's uh, awesome. Because, you know, if you would have got the hole in one, can you afford buying me a drink? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's what's special about all this is he's getting into this wonderful game and I hope he, mm -hmm. he keeps at it and wants to, uh, get better and better at it and we'll get you some lessons this winter. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think, like Alex has said, we can come back out here and use the bays when they're not busy mm -hmm. and get you better in learning what these numbers mean mm -hmm. and help your swing. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this short little video of mm -hmm. hitting about maybe 10 shots each and just seeing the numbers and hopefully it educates uh, some people with junior golf. And then we're gonna do the other video once mm -hmm. Alex gets those shafts in and we can do a full fitting and, and let you see what that is. So all right, let's see what we can do. All right, let's see it. You are ready. <laughs> He's so smooth with it. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. Good ball, right? Very nice. So <laughs> he, I've only worked with him. Uh, he's picked up things when we've gone out to the golf course. I've helped him a little bit. Um, we haven't got him any lessons. And so we're probably gonna do that this winter. You can see he lifts it a little bit with his arms, but uh -huh. he reroutes it pretty good and he, he uh -huh. plays, you also gotta just play the game. And he does that pretty well. So I'm excited for his future. Let's just see how he grows. Let's hit a couple more, right? And then we'll compare. Just a little pull there. Yep, that's a little Yankee. They're in town, play the Royals. So what, he's taking it out more because we're trying to exaggeration stuff because he was dragging it too far in and getting stuck. So we'll end up reeling him in a little bit with some lessons and any other practice we can do. That looked like a good one. I'm gonna be really upset if you don't keep playing golf. I can't believe you're told you haven't had any lessons. All right, one more, right? Okay. That's so cool. I just. That's so cool. I've liked the way I don't set the club like that. I, I, I taught myself to play. Right. And he sets it much better than I can even fathom. And then his rotation, you're able to get your body through it. It's really impressive. All right, let's look at these numbers. So looking at some of these numbers here, so for you, kind of some pretty good club head speed right here. 68 miles an hour, let's go, that's awesome. I have no clue what a junior should be swinging at 12 years old possibly, what? You know, it can honestly, it can honestly range. Most juniors though, I feel like on a driver, 12 year olds might be around mid 50s, so mid to high 50s, so much fun. Smash factor? Smash is good, so on a driver, 1.5 is perfect. Okay. So that's the magic number we're looking at there. Similar here too, where we just need to get a little bit more launch on the ball, a little bit more height. One thing that 
you know, people like to focus on, more is this launch angle. Okay. But in reality, what we need to be looking at, similar to the irons, is this landing angle. So Steve, for somebody like you, so you tour average on that for a driver is 38 degrees. Optimal carry, optimal roll. So honestly, for even for your, like your 12, anything in the 30s. So it will be just fine. We'll see if we can't get it up just a little bit and see if we can get this carry number up a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna switch now to... Gonna swap. All right, so what we've got here, something similar length here, even though it's a three wood shaft. Got a little bit more loft. Got the black ops, as you guys know here. Wanna see what you got? Let's see it. Right. Let's so see that it. one's 12 degrees. 12 degrees. And Riker, did we see what this one was? I can't remember. 10.5. Uh, 10.5. Okay, so well, that's what we're comparing. Awesome. All right. Is it way lighter? Yeah. All right. Probably gonna pick up some speed with it too. Yeah. All right, you are all set. All right, you're getting used to a new look, mm -hmm. a new head, a new feel, so. Balance is always gonna be different. I tell people in fittings, the first few never count anyways, unless they're really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, cause look, see, you still wanna compare some bad shots, but. Right, right, you wanna see what the miss hits are doing. Right. How's it look looking down at it? Way cooler. Way cooler, <laughs> yeah. That was a better move through the ball there. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little pull, but not as bad as the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that didn't feel that. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, remember you get free mulligans. That doesn't even count. Free mulligans at PXG. Yeah, we don't even charge you for them. <laughs> How's it feel coming off the face? Smoother. Okay. Mm -hmm. Weight feel okay? Yeah, way lighter. Way lighter. A lot of pressure switching over, isn't it? <laughs> So, Alex, what you've seen already with just the first three shots, mm -hmm. even with the ladies' mm -hmm. shaft, mm -hmm. he needs more of a kid's flex. He needs more of a kid's flex. That's why even, too, you're able to jump up a little bit more speed, but what really what we need to do is, yeah, you're just still in the kids right now, and you know what, and that's okay. That's okay because in the next two years, this number will be up about, your club head speed about 12 miles an hour. And it'll just continue to go and go and go. And that's okay, because that's why we do those video, these videos, you know? I do a couple more right here, let's just see. Maybe you're getting used to it yeah. and see some other comparisons, but that's what I'm seeing and she confirmed it. Yeah. That was, that one looked better. That was a lot better. 105.3, mm -hmm. look at that. So again, no Alex, don't you think a lot of it is getting used to it still too? A lot of it. can adapt, but right. shaft, bargy shafts are going to be for him. 100%. Okay. For right now, I agree. Kid shafts are going to be for him. And whenever we start getting a little taller, getting that club speed up a little bit more, we're going to be ready to move on. Yeah, that was 1.44 smash. Yep. 120, mm -hmm. six and a half carry. So, yep. all right, a couple more, right? See, I think that was a better mm -hmm. takeaway too. I don't think you took it outside the line as much mm -hmm. from this angle. And see, and that was better ball speed, but yeah, where it's just having trouble, trouble launching. Yeah. And that's okay, because now we know. There we go. Oh, that was a good ball. Still a little low. Yeah. Yeah. It was better though, that was a good ball. Right, that one. was 141 carry right there. 141 carry, yeah. Pull those numbers up? Yeah. Okay. So one thing you can see here too is ball speed jumped up to 105. But you got our smash up as a little bit too. But one thing that I find interesting too, and this just talks about our product as well, obviously we can see by these two numbers that it will launch out lower, but you can see how this carry number is up about 13 yards from 128 or 126, I'm sorry, 126 to 141. 
So that's a pretty big jump. Again, I'll go back. This was his 126, 96 ball speed to this. Okay. Love it. All right, so. All right, Alex, in closing, one of the mics ran out, so. <laughs> um, tell us what you think. We kind of covered a little bit of it, mm -hmm. you know, when I interrupted stuff. Mm -hmm. But let's ask Riker what he thought of the way it felt, the head especially, because we know the shaft's not for you, and Alex will speak upon that. Um, it was definitely way lighter uh, on when I got the impact on it, it felt way smoother on it. And it jumped, did it feel like it jumped off the face yeah. better than the other one? And the numbers prove that. So Alex, uh, cover what you saw in the numbers mm -hmm. and leading into the coming video, whenever we can get those shafts in. Yeah, absolutely. So looking at some of the numbers, so on the driver we have, so probably ride this second as, and this is why we go through the fitting, sticking in something of a kid's flex right now, not ready to jump up just yet. So that's why you can see some of the launch numbers are a little bit low, but that's okay. Cause that's what really fitting is all about trial and error, figuring out what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And then what we're going to do, that's going to be really fun is up in the next couple weeks, me and Steve, and we're going to get together and um, we're going to have you fitted for some irons. So I'm going to have get some of those shafts in and we're going to have a great time. So yeah. <laughs> We're in between his height with mm -hmm. the U.S. Kids Clubs and, mm -hmm. and the top flights. And so we just went with the Cobras. We knew they were a little long. We, we tested them at mm -hmm. a golf shop, uh, Golf Galaxy, by the way. Um, but mm -hmm. we, he wanted newer clubs because his other ones were too small for him. And I knew it was going to be that situation. But those varsity shafts are more for him because he can get them in the air. Yep. yep. But we just wanted to try to show something here for junior golfers mm -hmm. um, that would the numbers and how we know he needs kids flex or varsity flex if yep. they're similar flexes uh, and that's that this woman's shaft he's mm -hmm. still not there yet so mm -hmm. from your experience if he goes from a kid shaft mm -hmm. what would be his next jump up so his and next it's all sorry to interrupt it's all right. based on fitting right. you could say okay he might be into a regular mm -hmm. men's but mm -hmm. what would you think it'd be his next step? Yeah, so for him, it, it really can always depend. I would almost say more of a senior flex okay. because for him in the next six months, as you know, 12 year olds, he's gonna be growing and already getting a little bit faster. So that club head speed is just gonna continuously keep creeping up every couple okay. of months. And so go ahead and just give the lady straight into the senior. Back is gonna be able to withstand him okay. for couple years and then again when you hit that growth spurt though it's it's game on he's in seventh grade so by yep. the time high school hits by the time high school hits you're going to need to be in a stiff flex okay mm -hmm. all right what do you think you like the pxgs yeah yeah. yeah all right i love it alex thanks for thank uh, you guys sharing so much your information of course with with uh the, our fans out there and anybody yeah. that comes across this video for junior golfers because mm -hmm. again we're trying to trying to grow the game and spread awareness of mental health for first responders and how mm -hmm. we use this game playing with each other as frustrating as we both can get on the golf course <laughs> sometimes does alex get frustrating you think absolutely absolutely all right we love you all thanks for watching alex thank you thanks a lot appreciate, appreciate it, it.